I don't see the point of opening that whole crap storm again, and I don't want to give her the satisfaction of giving her any more attention. And I forgot to mention, I have her blocked everywhere. She made a new social media account to message me. What's going on, everybody? Hope everybody's feeling good. Hope everybody's doing well. We are back with another story post. Guys, I'll put this up on the screen if you want to check it out. But you guys read the title? Let's just get into it. So, Reddit surviving infidelity. Ex-girlfriend of three years cheated multiple times and abused me. But I'm living my dream life now. Nice. Good. I am not the best writer, so I also apologize for that. I've been separated from my ex for over two years. I'm still healing, but for the most part, I'm doing amazing now. And I have a wonderful girlfriend who has been helping me heal. I dated my ex from 2017 to 2020 through college. I met her at my... Taekwondo school while I was training for nationals and we immediately hit it off. She was funny and kind and it was the first time I had someone who thought I was physically attractive. I'm a very shy and pretty reserved guy. Fast forward and we're dating for about six months. Everything has been great but I noticed her behavior changed slightly. She started to act more distant and not as loving as before and seems to get annoyed with me more frequently, so I just thought she was just stressed with schoolwork and her job, so I give her space. After about a month, her mood improves and everything is back to normal. This cycle happens for about a year of it being up and down. Around the year and a half mark, I stop hanging out with my friends as much due to her getting mad at me. So stupidly, I apologize to her and try to spend more time with her. After this, she starts getting more secretive and doesn't allow me to use her phone for any reason and always has some excuse. Then from the two-year mark to the end of our relationship, she got very abusive to me. She would hit me and bite me, but always made sure it was in a place so no one would see the bruises and sometimes bleeding and would always scream at me if I showed any sadness or was scared. And before anyone tells me I should have told someone, no one would believe a six foot, 164 pound, fourth degree black belt was being beaten by his five foot three girlfriend. He gaslit me and emotionally destroyed me into thinking I deserved it. Wow. <laughs> Dang. This is a first. I hadn't heard anyone getting like abused. I don't think. One night we were talking to our parents about our future plans about moving in when we graduate. And a couple hours after the conversation, she proceeds to break up with me, then leave my house. Dang. After doing some digging, I found out she cheated on me with the person that she would soon later date. I was very depressed and damaged for a while, but I just kept moving forward. I graduated college and was the first in my family to do so and moved to Florida. Nice, man. Salute. You kept it, You kept going. Good, good. I now have my dream job as a scientist and have a girlfriend who loves me unconditionally and has helped me through my trauma. I never got revenge. The only thing I did was kept moving forward, which turned out to be the best type because I learned that her parents hated the guy she cheated on me with and that they both cheated on each other and they're miserable now. Again, I'm sorry for the bad writing. I have high functioning autism and I'm currently at work studying in Eagle Nest and just wanted to get this off my chest. Wow. Let me give my thoughts on this. First, man, congratulations on finishing school. You didn't let her, you didn't let that situation have you down so much to where you just said, I'm going to drop out because uh, believe it or not, people do that. They'll give up all their goals because you were giving up a lot for her. You gave up your friends 
for someone who was abusing you and hurting you, what man? I wish a woman would bite me. <laughs> I wish you would bite me. Dude, she did you a favor by leaving you. Honestly, because you should have left her a long time ago, you know, um, but think think about what he said, guys. So he, you know, he's slightly, you know, has some learning disabilities or some um, social disabilities or whatever. He wasn't confident Then the first girl that's like attracted to him. He's like, what? Wow. You know, so he had this mindset of he was afraid to lose her. Let's be honest. He was afraid to lose her. He didn't think he could find anybody else. But what you have to realize is a woman is not going to complete your life. You you have so as a man, there's so much out there for you to go conquer. And, 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 and create. You know, having a woman by your side telling you how handsome you are and, you know, giving you some in-house that shouldn't complete your life. That's not your end all be all, you know, so I'm so happy to see that, you know, even in the type, title, you say you're living your dream. You have your dream job. You're doing what you've always wanted to do. Good. Now, you know, climb the ladder, climb the ladder in, in whatever company you're working in. You know, um, if there's other things to increase your career, dub your career out, you know, maybe, you know, start teaching on the side, some things like that. You know, just focus on yourself and your career and, you know, Taekwondo, maybe teach that or, or, you know, advance in that. You have a lot to do, a lot to do. There's other women out there. Trust me, there's other women out there who are not going to bite you, bang you over the head, you know, at five foot three, you know. Um, so don't 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 worry about it. You know, focus on yourself, though. Put yourself first. Guys, let's check out these comments. Congrats, man. That AP did you a solid by taking her away. Yeah. Now she can go bite on somebody else. You did the right thing by not focusing on revenge unless it's needed as a byproduct of leaving the relationship in the best terms of for you is okay. But revenge for the sake of revenge is energy and attention. You should be focusing in yourself. Absolutely. I love that comment. Absolutely. Here, look, we all love a good revenge story. Got her back. Consequences. Payback. Ha <laughs> ha. You know, but this dude took his energy and hurt. And he finished school and now he's at his dream job. Success is the best. Success is the best. OP, here's OP. Thank you. I've thought about it a lot. Still get angry about her, but it's just not worth it. I just try to focus on myself and keep improving as much as I can. Someone's calling out something. He said, I got revenge. I never got revenge. Someone said, the best revenge is to live your best life and achieve all the things that you want to achieve. I'm guessing that every time she checks out on your checks checks you out on your socials or hears about you, it must be killing her just a little bit to see you so successful and happy. And with that being said, guys, he has an update. And uh success is the best revenge. All right, update. Reddit surviving infidelity. My toxic ex messaged me happy birthday after two years of no contact. I wonder why. She's on social media and she sees you just minding your business and you continue with your life. Do not let her come back. All she wants to do is come and ruin, ruin what you got going. Because you're not supposed to be happy. Let's get into this. Hey, y'all. I posted here a couple weeks ago about my experience with my toxic ex. And just for a quick summary, she was extremely abusive to me and would typically beat me and emotionally abuse me and also cheated on me. I've had no contact with her for two years and life has been great. I have my dream job and I'm about to move in with the love of my life who I plan on marrying because she's so wonderful to me. My birthday was about a week ago and she has just now messaged me saying she hopes I had a great birthday. A lot of pain that I've been working has now resurfaced. 
and I really don't know why she's trying to contact me. I know she has a boyfriend, but that's as far as I know about her life. Wow. She's showing you she destroys anything she's involved with. Ugh, disgusting. I'm not sure what I should do. Should I say anything to her? I kind of just want to tell her off about how terrible she was. No, that shows you still care. But I know that I won't solve anything. I just need some advice just because I can't think clearly right now due to the stress and old memories of what she did. Thank you all for listening. Edit. Just wanted to say thank you so much for all the responses I didn't expect to get this much feedback. I'm going to stay no contact after reading the responses. I don't see the point in opening I don't see the point of opening that whole crap storm again, and I don't want to give her the satisfaction of giving her any more attention. And I forgot to mention, I have her blocked everywhere. She made a new social media account to message me. Wow. Proof right there, guys. Success is the best revenge. You think she's not stalking him? Wow, he graduated? He really finished school? Wow, congratulations. No, I'm not going to send anything. But I'm so happy for him. He graduates. He goes on Facebook again. Just landed the job of my dreams. He's celebrating happy. You know, having drinks with his friends. You know, taking pictures. He's smiling. She sees the new girl next to him. Give him a kiss on the cheek in a picture. Oh, she's, she's heated. He's not supposed to be happy. I left him for a guy who's doing nothing with his life. We're, I'm bored over here. This guy I'm with now has no potential. I left a good thing. She's eating herself up inside. The best revenge is success. I'm telling you, man. I'm telling you. Works like a charm. He didn't have to get any revenge. He didn't have to go, I'm going to tell the whole school about her. I'm going to do. He didn't have to do any of that. He took that energy and put it into something else. And look, like I said, I've gotten emails from guys who are married and all types of stuff. They tell me, hey, man, I got cheated on. I got treated really bad. I didn't met my wife and we've been married 20 years, 30 years. Oh, I'm with a girl right now. She treats me great. She helps me out with life. I'm going to marry her. I don't sit here and get mad at these guys, at these guys. And you guys know how I feel. No marriage, no relationship. I'm completely done with it. I'm completely done with it. But when I hear a guy tell me like, no, man, I found I, I actually I, yeah, I got hurt, but I found someone and I think it's worth the, the jump and, or the plunge or whatever. Hey, I'm not going to tell you not to do it. Go ahead. But you're going into it, hopefully with a better mindset and knowing to stay on your toes. All right. I know what red I know what red flags to look for. I'm not, you know, I you know you set your boundaries, you do what you got to do. There are a ton of guys who don't play no crap who are married. Salute to this guy, man. I'm happy for you, man. You leveled up. I love it. Let's check out these comments. Say and do nothing. Your focus is on your future. Absolutely. The reason why she reached out doesn't matter and has no impact on you. Don't give the why a life to live in your head. You don't need to relive, revisit someone who brings you emotional pain. Move forward. Absolutely. Absolutely. I feel that way about... I was actually... A couple weeks ago, I was talking to somebody. Um, old friend, actually. And, you know, he. I noticed he kept dwelling on the past, like, Man, remember, remember we had to go through this. Remember we did this, man. It used to be hard, man. We come from nothing, blah, 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 blah. And I'm just like, I'm gonna be honest with you, man. I don't dwell on the past. I don't dwell on the past like that. I don't. That's that stuff will it will hold you back. It's okay to use it for motivation to move forward in certain situations and certain times in life. But to sit and just dwell on it can really mess you up. What if he sat and dwelled on, man, well, she hurt me. I can't believe she did that. Why would she do that? And he just said, you know what? I'm going to message her and ask her, why did you do this to me? Now you're allowing, you're showing her that you care. And now you're allowing her to give you some BS answer to try to work her way back into your life, sir. Simply so she can destroy it. 
promise you, man. I promise you. Someone said, ignore her and block her. Yeah, he did. Stay, no contact, ignore, delete her messages and block her. Don't look back. Absolutely. Guys, let me know what you think about this in the comments. Salute to this guy, man. I love a feel-good story. I love stories like this, man. You made it. You are a great example. You know, and look, this guy said he has autism, you know, and look, he's, and I know, I know a guy who actually, I went to college with a guy who had like slight, uh, slight autism or whatever. Um, he's a licensed professional. He's a licensed professional. So there's no excuses, man. Get out there and get it, man. Whatever you want to do. Don't put your focus on a woman. I got to have a girlfriend. You know, I want to get married. I was at that point one time in my life when I was young. When I was really young, oh, I want to have a marriage. I tried to simultaneously have a relationship and work on my future and my career. Don't do that. Don't make that mistake. Focus on your career, man. But salute, salute to that. Salute to this guy, man. I'm happy. This is a great story. Guys, let me know what you think about this in the comments. I will catch you guys at the next one. What is wrong with me? You're a serial cheater. I'm about to lose my marriage over some petty nonsense. Is there any way to salvage this? I feel so stupid. My husband has zero trust in me. what's going on everybody hope everybody's feeling good hope everybody's doing well we are back with another story guys i'll put this up on the screen if you want to check it out but you guys read the title let's just get into it so talk about marriage.com four years later i do it again long story short i've been with my husband for a total of 16 years i had some loyalty issues and in 2017 while married and even before that when doing long distance while engaged wow the 2017 incident is where i basically spoke to many different men and met with a few when married before getting caught i did this all after a miscarriage not that i'm justifying it just for context it was very difficult but my husband forgave me Oh man, and we ended up having a little one who is almost three now. Might not be his child. A couple of months ago, I find myself going on dating apps again and talking to multiple men. For four years, I kept my promise until two months ago. My husband finds out and he is considering separation. We've been trying for another baby for almost two years and it's been diagnosed as unexplained infertility which has been extremely stressful and heartbreaking for me. I honestly think it was my way of getting attention and distracting myself from stuff not happening in my life. I also need to add that I don't just talk to one man. It is multiple men at the same time. This being said, I never met up with any, just messaged in photos. What is wrong with me? You're a serial cheater. I'm about to lose my marriage over some petty nonsense. Is there any way to salvage this? I feel so stupid. My husband has zero trust in me. Wow, is she serious? Let me give my thoughts. Is she serious? You're a serial cheater. You don't respect your husband. That's probably not his child, and you know it. You went and got pregnant by somebody else, and you, you hate him even more because you feel like he can't get you pregnant. Hmm. 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 This is disgusting. Multiple men, I can't control myself. Why do I keep cheating on my husband? Really? Women? Oh, man. This poor guy. And he took her back. Oh, and now he's considering separation? You're considering separation? What? 
Mm. You should have left a long time ago. This woman is nasty. Guarantee you that's not her son. Let's check out these comments. Only you know the answer to this and why you keep doing it. I'm sorry for your husband. You also sound like you don't want to lose him. Do you love him as a person? Someone else said, you obviously need therapy with someone versed in infidelity. Another child is the last thing you need to bring into your dysfunctional marriage. Absolutely. You didn't find yourself on a dating site magically. You signed up and actively sought men other than your husband with, to sex with and share what I can only assume are nude photos. If you can't even accept responsibility for your own behavior, then you're going to repeat these actions. Absolutely. Like she literally signed up for this stuff. <laughs> you signed up for these things. I don't know what was into me. How many kids do you have and how are they doing? The one's asking her. I'm trying to see if she's in here. Someone said, someone's asking, were you the girl in high school that all the boys ignored? Serious question. And strict parents by any chance? Were you also the girl that tried to steal the attention of your friend's boyfriends? Maybe you also, maybe you also don't have too many female friends. I'm not asking to be nasty. Your husband probably adored you and you got married to escape and he was really good to you. It was nothing like your parents. He gave you lots of freedom and you were the apple of his eye. You married to get away from mom and dad. Though it didn't really feel exciting that someone loved you and thought you were beautiful. Is this your story? Wow. <laughs> wow. Guys, let me know what you think about this in the comments. When this be, we figured out her Facebook password. Why do most women pick the most obvious of passwords? Sometimes cheating bees get what they deserve. What's going on, everybody? Hope everybody's feeling good. Hope everybody's doing well. We are back with another story post, guys. I will put the title to this on the screen so you can check it out if you want. But you guys read the title? Let's just get into it. So, this happened to my best friend. His wife was Japanese and living in America with him on a spousal visa. Long story short, she was banging some guy who was always an a-hole to, to both of us. We know why now. She made the mistake of telling her best friend who lives in Japan, whom is also my good friend, I live in Japan, the friend, the friend was recently cheated on and still very upset. She told me my best friend was in the middle of finals, went back to school after getting laid off to get a more specialized degree. I sat on this information for two weeks and then told him. He took it pretty well as it filled in a lot of holes for him. Then I said, so many guys when hurt are too nice. I convinced him to ruin this bee. We figured out her Facebook password. Why do most women pick the most obvious of passwords? Sure enough, there were pictures, conversations, and what's this? The boyfriend's parents. Glorious. It turns out they are super Christian. My friend contacted the boyfriend's mother and very politely explained who he was and what, and what went on. She was very sorry and she promised my friend that his wife would no longer be welcome to their home. Step one, complete. Step two was going to take more skill. My friend's wife was pretty butthurt about him ruining her relationship. She said she will just tell her parents that my friend put his hands on her. They don't speak English, so there was nothing my friend could do. I told my friend to write the letter, which he did, and again explained it very politely. Per my advice, my friend also included the dated photos of them together. My mutual Japanese friend translated the letter into, into natural Japanese. My friend's wife had no idea of his plan. She was also planning to go home for a month to visit. My friend timed the mailing of the letter, so it arrived one day before she left. She received a phone call from her father, and he totally sided with my friend. His wife called up crying and called him an a-hole. Now, if you think this burn couldn't get any better, you are wrong. His wife was looking for her dream job at an industrial design company. 
She had an interview lined up for when she got back. They were ready to hire her. When, talked, when talks about her visa status came up, she explained that she will be getting divorced and will lose her status. The company explained that they couldn't hire her because they don't have it in the budget to sponsor a visa. Bam. Mission complete. She's now back in Japan. I guess she works at a Japanese company now. Sometimes cheating bees get what they deserve. I typed this on my phone, so sorry if there are typos. Edit. There seems to be a lot of butthurt cheaters still replying to this post, lol. Wow, let me give my thoughts. Salute, salute, salute. She got what she deserved, just like you said. Cheating bees get what they deserve sometimes. And in this, in this case, in this story, she got what she deserved. Well, it sounds like people are in the comments, I mean, upset with you and and, 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 and your friend. How dare you? You took away her job. Well, she shouldn't have been cheating. Okay, she shouldn't have been cheating. Salute to you guys. You did what you were supposed to do.